Corner three doesn't drop. Here's Potoff. The skip, three ball, corner pocket. Potoff to Green. Dana Green responsible for all seven points. They could add more. It's Green again. Nope, that is Savannah Stockness. A lot of Midai fans reminding Rapoli of her air ball from earlier. They are bringing the energy. Deep three. And Maya Gisi will silence the crowd. It's 11 to 8. Entry feed timed and intercepted by Stockness, who has made an influential impact on defense, and it will end on a Zoe Center's take to the rim. Matamidai struggling a bit from three-point range. That was not the case in the first meeting. And Hill Murray drops a triple. Molly Warner gets on the board. And it's a one-point game. And alluding to something I said before on extended sets being a thing of the past in a couple of seasons, Layla Dial might want to open a bakery after that. You want to know why? Why? That was a sweet roll. Oh, yeah. That's a hard one to say. Three on the way from Adamina. Pulls up. Zoe centers. That's a good question. I don't have the coaching acumen that they do. Well, I have a feeling Eric is this is going to like that step back three on the part of centers. The rebound collected by Stockness, who powers her way in for two. Bill Murray, they're going to need to pick up a few more points. Three ball, corner pocket. Runyon still making her presence felt, even if she's not scoring a lot. She does there. And one. You can hold Ella Runyon back, but you can't keep her down forever. Another three. You bet. Gets the split. Oh, board, and centers swooped in from nowhere to maintain possession for the Zephyrs. And her hustle is rewarded as Anna Green goes in for the finish. And an efficient transition attack late in the second half is more than enough. Matamidai completes the sweep. They win 51-42. And with that, the Zephyrs likely secure the Metro East Conference Championship